Tonight, Lakeside teenager Hannah Anderson is revealing explosive new details about her kidnapping two months ago. But the author of a new book about Anderson is weighing in on those details, casting doubts on the teenager's account. 10 News reporter Itika Milana is here now with the discrepancies being pointed out. Itika? Well, Kim, 10 News was first to tell you about this author and the book about Anderson. Tonight, she told me this is the strangest case of a victim's behavior after such a horrific crime that she has ever heard of. She believes there is more to Anderson's story that she may not want anyone to know about. Chelsea Hoffman, author of River of No Return, is casting doubt on frightening new details. Hannah Anderson is revealing about her three days with her kidnapper, James DiMaggio. She said, quote, he handcuffed me and zip tied my feet and then sat me down on the couch and told me what his plan was. But Hoffman clearly remembers Anderson saying that DiMaggio never took her into his home. She alluded to the idea that she didn't remember any uh, at any point getting in the car. She didn't remember what happened. The 16 year old also claims DiMaggio forced her to play Russian roulette saying and when it was my turn I started crying and like was freaking out and he said do you want to play and I said no and I started crying and then he's like okay and he stopped. He supposedly had a rifle. There's been no mention of him having a handgun anything of that sort and you need a revolver to play Russian roulette. The true crime author says she has never heard of a victim going through as much trauma as Hannah, taking to social media, posting selfies, answering all kinds of questions on sites like Ask FM. I can't even name one that is as cheerful as she is, as outgoing, as it seems oblivious to the idea that this is her reality now. Last weekend, Anderson was flown to New York for a network interview. While there, she went to a Miley Cyrus concert and posed for several pictures in the big city. Tuesday evening, she posted this picture of her and her friends titled, Hanging with the Homies. Today, the coroner in Idaho released DiMaggio's autopsy report, which showed he died of six gunshots, all fired by FBI agents. Also today, this would have been little Ethan's ninth birthday. Atika Milanis, 10 News.